Hi, paper crafters. Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today, we're going to make a really quick and simple sympathy card. And this is a project that uses embossing and also uses our new blending brushes. And I want to show you how you can use those for a really quick but beautiful card. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by embossing my dandelions onto a piece of our crumb cake. And so the crumb cake, I want my dandelions to be on the left hand side. So I want to place my crumb cake paper in there so that they are on the left hand side. So this is an area where you, this is an example rather, where you don't have to put your paper in completely straight. I don't have to put it in there like that. I want mine to be on the side and I do want to have it coming off the edge as well. So this piece coming off the edge because it just gives a little bit more interest. Actually, I think I don't pull that down just a little bit more so that I have a little bit of that coming in. So now you're going to run that through your Big Boss machine. Mine is called the Big Boss. And uh, for this, we need to have our 3D embossing plate, which is that gray plate number four in your stamp and cut and emboss. If you're using an older um, Big Shot, you can use the purple plate. So now I'm just going to run this through. Once you're done, you pull it out and you have your dandelions on the left hand side. So now what I'm going to do is just bring in my small grid piece of paper and I'm also going to use my early espresso stamp pad and I'm going to pull in my blending brushes. So I have three, I have a couple more coming now, but I have reserved them sort of by color family. So even though this one is yellow, I'm using it for my browns as well. And then I have pinks and greens, and I will also have one for blues when they, when they arrive, and I'll probably have one for purples and things like that. So I'm going to, this is an older stamp pad, but it still works fine. So I'm gonna pick up, this is early espresso, and I'm going to do some early espresso around the outside edge. And this is one of the nicest things about our blending brushes is that it creates a very soft finish. You can do this with a sponge and you can do it with a sponge dauber as well, but I'm really enjoying how these work. So there are tiny little brushes in here and I'm hoping that you can see if I do that. I don't even know how many are in a single brush, but there are all kinds in here. And I have found that you really don't need to wash these under the sink because what you do is you just take some of the color and you can see, even though it looks like there's color there, it's not really transferring onto the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab into my uh, color. It's gotten darker there. And I'm just going to dab off a little bit. And the reason for dabbing off is I don't want to have a blotch of color there, which is sometimes what happens with your blends and your sponges. Now I'm going to swirl into, from outside, I'm going to go into my piece of paper. And I'm just going to very lightly swirl around and around. Around. Now some people, these are flexible brushes here, some people hold them back and do it like this. I tend to hold mine fairly close to the head, but they are flexible here, so they do bend a little bit. And I'm not pressing super hard, I'm, I'm using a fairly light touch. So you can see that there's a little bit of color there, and you can see the color around the card as well. So every time that you put your brush into the ink, just tap it off. And there's still lots of color on there to be able to create a sort of sepia tone, which is what I'm going for here. A little bit of an antiqued kind of look around the outside edge. So it may seem like a little bit of a waste to get some of that ink off onto your uh, piece of paper, but it really uh, does give you a good result. So where you go over top of some of your dry embossing, you're gonna see that the ink picks up just a little bit more over there. So you're going to define your dandelions just a little bit more when you go over top of them. So I'm using a circular motion all the time. I'm using my hand close to the top, back here, close to the top, and I'm just inking and dabbing every single time. Okay, and I'm just creating a little bit of color around that outside edge. Now I could go a little bit darker. If that's not dark enough for you, you could go in a little bit more. I'm also going to take just a little bit and go over top of my dandelions just to give them a little bit more definition. So not too, too much. 
but just enough. So one can be a little bit lighter. Okay, so there we have given just a little bit of a look to our card. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in and I'm going to put a, a set of words over here. So this is the Heal Your Heart. This is a celebration set, so it's a free set. And I'm really enjoying the Wish I Could Heal Your Heart. I love the beautiful font on here. So there's thank you, sorry for your loss. So there's different ways that you can use um, this set. So I've already pulled out and I'm going to put it on my Stamparatus. I've already pulled out the Wishing I Could Heal Your Heart. And I'm going to set that in my Stamparatus. And this is a stamp positioner. Now I'm going to uh, put it over here. I wasn't too sure where I wanted to put it. So I'm going to maybe place it so it's sort of close to the top. Here we go. And that's a good spot for me. So I'm going to put on my magnet so my paper doesn't move. I'm going to move this over so that I can ink up my Wishing um, Stamp. And I'm going to stamp that right over top in that space. And you can just press, and smooth it out, okay? That I want to be a little bit darker. So here again is the great thing about the Stamparatus. I can ink that and I know I have confidence it's going to be in exactly the same spot and it'll come in a little bit darker, which it has. So I am done with that. I'm going to clean my stamp with my um, dirty Simply Chamois and it looks dirty, but actually isn't dirty. I just ran it underneath the water this morning. So it will stain when you get yours, it'll be nice and purple on the back but don't worry it still works just fine okay so I'm just going to pull this out I'm going to take those off later and put it back but you always want to store your stamparatus so that your panels are not inside so now we just have to put our card together so this piece of our crumb cake is three and three quarters by five so I am going to put that together with some Stampin' Steel. And I'm using Seal Plus, actually, just because I find for videos that it works really, really well. And it doesn't, uh, doesn't tend to get hung up quite as much. So I'm going to have a very nice border all the way around my card. And I'm going to put that down onto a piece of Early Espresso. And my Early Espresso was four by five and a quarter. And then I'm putting it down onto a piece of thick berry vanilla that is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. And I'm gonna have this card open from the right. Go, so that's going to go right down in the middle there. And I'm just going to finish it off with a, one of our pearls, just a very a small pearl, and I'm using my take your pick tool. I'm gonna to pick up the pearl, I'm not coloring it, I'm just going to put it right there in the corner. So there is your card. So super quick and easy. And once you've done a little bit of that coloring and, and blending with the brushes, I know that you are going to love them as much as I do. So thanks very much. I hope you like that project. If you do, please like this video below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you live in Canada and you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal. You can purchase any of the supplies I used by heading over to my blog at www.designwithjoe.ca. And if you're not on my mailing list, why not pop on over there and also sign up? I post regular tips and tricks, all kinds of designs and ideas, and all the latest news in the Stampin' Up! world. I would love to have you join in. Thanks very much and have a great paper crafting day.